India's livestock sector is one of the largest in the world. It plays a pivotal role in propping up the rural economy as it supports the livelihoods of over 20 million people. In the past 50 years, there has been a significant change in the manner of farming animals. Small-scale, family-operated enterprises have now evolved into factory farms. They offer increased profits and contracts from the growing food industry. To meet the demand, large tracts of land have been repurposed to establish animal farms. Factory farms prioritize production and profit. However, this approach results in high animal density and severe suffering for the animals as they get subjected to extremely unsanitary and cruel living conditions. Animals require sufficient space to thrive, but are squashed into crowded, stressful and barren environments. They have no access to the outdoors and are often caged with no room to fully extend their limbs, heads or wings, leading to injuries and abnormal behaviours. The highly stressed conditions for animals in factory farm sheds typically fosters the spread of disease-causing bacteria. An easy way to address this, farm owners routinely add antibiotics to the feed and water supply for entire herds or flocks. There is a huge implication if we are having intensive farming and to prevent the major loss which is happening maybe because of bacterial infection which could be avoided by supplying the clean water, by measuring the hygienic measure. The proxy is being used in the form of antibiotic to stop the infection. If antibiotics are used, they will end up where? They will end up into the food system, either in the form of the residue or in the form of the bacteria. In the absence of stringent regulations and without prescription or cause, animals are given antibiotics on a large scale, with little thought to the consequences of both animals and humans. Over 84% of the world's antibiotics are given to farm animals for growth promotion since they accelerate nutrient absorption or disease prevention and not for treatment. This is estimated to be more than three times of what is given to treat humans every year. It is commonly assumed that the antibiotics are being used in animal farming sectors to treat sick animals, but the reality is that this is to compensate poor animal welfare conditions where animals are caged, stressed, and go through various procedures which is painful for animals and also housed in a very poor unhygienic condition which put them into a risk of getting sick and to avoid that the antibiotics being used. In commercial setups, a broiler reaches slaughter weight in five to six weeks instead of five to six months thanks to the fast genetic selection and growth promoters. This unnatural growth at multiple times the natural rate leads to immense distress for the animals. It affects their legs, joints, bones, muscles and tendons. It may lead to lameness, causing them to spend more time on the floor in contact with their own waste, leading to further disease. Worrisome is when these antibiotics are used as a growth promoter. It is getting into environment because you are feeding them through their excreta. It is becoming part of the manure. Some amount of antibiotics you will find in the water bodies and the soil. And that's how it gets into the environment. And uh, people who are feeding on these animals, knowingly or unknowingly, they get exposed to these antibiotics. Most of the antibiotics given to all animals don't get digested fully and get excreted. This ultimately ends up in the soil or waterways. Most factory farms also generate offensive odours and decomposed waste products such as manure, carcasses and litter attract flies, rodents and other disease-carrying pests. <laughs> Uh, 
అవి కూడా వాడుకోం డ్రైనేజీలకు వెళ్ళిపోవాలి ఆ నీళ్ళు కూడా వాడుకున్న నీళ్ళు డ్రైనేజీకి పంపేస్తారు అలాంటివి జరగవండి జరిగితే మటుకు అభ్యాసం పెడతారు అలాంటివి రోడ్ మీద రోడ్ పక్క ఉంది అనుకోండి అక్కడే నాన్న చేత వేసి పాడు చేస్తే మీరు ఎవరైనా కంప్లైంట్ ఇస్తారు కదండి కంప్లైంట్ ఇవ్వకుండా చూసుకోవాలండి and large source of our food is coming from the animal source now the milk which is come from the cow and buffalo chicken egg which is from the broiler the fish which comes from the fisheries so large chunk of the source of the food is animal so if there is a misuse into the farm sector or animal it have a direct consequence into our food and our human health the overuse of antibiotics in factory farming has become a leading cause of antimicrobial resistance or superbugs how do superbugs come into being simply put in their natural process they develop when bacteria mutate or reproduce and pass on resistance when exposed to antibiotics leading to the exponential growth of superbugs extensive use of antibiotics accelerates this process creating a chain of antibiotic resistant bacteria known as AMR or antimicrobial resistance these bacteria get transmitted into our food chain and environment from factory farms through various means the antibiotic resistant superbugs are the biggest threat to the health of animals humans and the environment when antibiotics came lot of diseases were conquered in fact and if the bacteria start developing resistance to all the available antibiotics then even a small infection can kill and if people don't wake up to this situation right now then maybe within 15 years all antibiotics will lose their potency and people will start dying in large numbers With no new class of antibiotics entering the market, infections caused by drug resistant organisms are becoming difficult to treat for both humans and animals. This is leading to increased mortality and prolonged duration of hospitalization, causing a large financial burden to the affected persons and healthcare systems. It is also hindering the goals of sustainable development. common cold diarrhea typhoid abscesses urinary tract infections these were common infections which we were able to treat with these simple antibiotics but now with because of this problem of antimicrobial resistance they are becoming difficult to treat means that you need higher end antibiotics now the prevalent belief that someone not consuming an animal product will not be affected by superbugs does not hold true as irresponsible use of antibiotics in factory farming impacts not only animals but also humans the most susceptible are those with poor immunity old people and infants nearly 60000 newborns die in india each year from bacteria that are resistant to first line antibiotics experts are now flagging superbugs as a potential new threat without intervention the health toll from bacteria resulting from factory farming is projected to double by 2050 this could lead to 2.38 million deaths and a fourfold increase in cost to the global economy reaching almost 1.67 trillion us dollars in 2050 While the use of antibiotics may seem necessary in intensive farming, alternate methods can be followed to maintain animal health. In the face of a global AMR crisis, it is critical that factory farms adopt higher welfare conditions that address the needs of animals first, ensuring that every animal has access to sufficient space and quality feed, clean water, fresh air, and a stress-free environment has to be a priority. If antibiotic use in factory farms is reduced by one third, deaths and illnesses world over can be reduced by 67% by 2050, 
saving the global economy $18 trillion over the next 30 years. Farmers are extremely intelligent, they are aware. We need to convey the correct know-how, alternative which are available, best practices which are available. Suppose you have a litter or bedding in the poultry farm. You hold the poultry farm litter and you open it. If there is some litter which is sticking to your head, it means you need to change the litter. Suddenly if you see the water consumption is dropping or going down, something is wrong in your farm. वाला के मामले का मैं ता फीड चीज कुने तकिस्तन आ तकिते ये तो दर की लापड़ा ये तो प्रॉब्लम होना टू गुरस्तिस्तन आज ये अलग फीड फोर डेज फाइव डेज तकिते नरते ये एक प्रोडक्शन तकिते होते हैं अब तो डॉक्टर ने कांसर्ट जास्ता आज याना मोर्टलिटी होते कोड़े याना चली पड़ते आई तीस के अल्ट the immense cruelty and suffering of billions of animals within factory farms is the breeding ground of many disease outbreaks. Substandard and poor animal welfare practices being the key drivers behind the overuse of antibiotics that lead to superbugs, it's critical that systems of transparency and surveillance are established by the government. So far in India, four states, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Delhi and Andhra Pradesh have developed their own action plans. We believe that the factory farming is not the solution to feed the world. It is important that the government needs to have the strong regulation to control the growth of factory farming systems. The government will also need to regulate the control of irresponsible use of antibiotics in animal farming sectors and also in other sectors as well. In addition to that, I think uh, proper animal welfare uh, practices and standards properly implemented and enforced at ground level will make a huge impact uh, to address the whole issue of AMR and superbugs. Surely, we don't need another pandemic to rethink our approach to superbugs. As consumers, we can help improve the space and living conditions of farmed animals by shifting to plant-based food or alternate sources of protein. We can demand for higher welfare food to know the source of the food we eat along with the manner in which it is produced. People have a very important role to play, not only from a consumer's perspective, but also as a citizen. One of the things which we believe that they can ask the companies from where they are purchasing any animal product, whether those companies are ensuring that the antibiotics being used responsibilities in their supply chain. If they can write to the local authorities or concerned ministries and governments in their respective states and nations to ask the governments to put together strict regulation and framework in place to ensure that antibiotics are used for the purpose which is it meant to be. We would like consumer to be more mindful and make responsible choices which will help animal, people and planet. So AMR is known as antimicrobial resistance. And in the A number of animal welfare organizations like World Animal Protection India conduct awareness workshops and campaigns to highlight the important role consumers can play in transforming the current food system. The emphasis is on taking the one health and welfare approach to promote linkages between all stakeholders and making animal welfare a priority issue. One Health is a holistic approach to deal with the issue of animal health, public health and environmental health. The One Health approach is all about bringing all these interconnected issues together and working together uh, with different uh, stakeholders from public health sector to animal health sector and from environmental health sector and find solutions to address the issue of antimicrobial resistance. Everyone, all these workers, sectors shall work together, including the social scientists also, because they have a very big role to play bridging the gaps in the sectors. So in such a way, definitely create a good environment for the coordinated work ultimately 
to tackle uh, threats by the bugs or the silent pandemics. Every animal deserves a life worth living, free from abuse, cruelty and suffering. Free in an environment where they can express that natural behaviour. There is an urgent need to make animal welfare an integral part of our food system for the larger benefit of people, animals and the planet. Together, we can create a safe, sustainable and resilient environment capable of feeding the world.